you. Guess what? San Ronaldo. It's a great day. It's gonna be a great weekend. I've already recorded this video once, but some of the audio is so I have to do it again. So anyway, yeah, just getting through it. I'm gonna turn off this Viva Ronaldo stuff, but yeah, I'm Paddy from Odds on FPL. Some of you might know me, some of you mightn't. Probably you won't. You probably won't. But if you're here, maybe you will be. Um, the idea of this video is to give you my team reveal. Uh, so what I do is I pick a team based on odds, and it does well. Top 50k last three seasons. Pat, pat, pat. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty decent if I'm gonna you know, say what it is. Essentially, we pick captains based on odds, players based on odds, and um, probability things like that. Um, I'll go through my team last week, uh, a quick review, because I've already recorded this, as I've already said, but it decked up. So yeah, anyway, the defence was magnificent last week. If only it was like that every week. Simicas, what a legend you've been. Two games, two clean sheets, four million. You've given me two price rises. You're a beautiful, beautiful Greek man. Uh, but yeah, Robertson's coming in, so you're short-lived. Uh, Trent, great as well. Three bonus points, and then Sanchez kept the cleanie. Shaw got bonus points, two points. She probably should have kept the clean sheet. Was unlucky to concede. Fred gave a disaster class. Uh, talking about disaster classes, the midfield Harrison for zero point five million less than Rafinha. He looks every part the zero point five million less. Rafinha gets involved so much more. Fernandez as well looked awful. Um. Just really didn't get into it. Uh, Salah as well. Sure, involved, but no points. Gundogan as well. Surprised he started, but then the stuff was coming out that he was fit. Up front, Ings and Tony perform well. Tony again, another blank. How long will his stay last? He gets a, a short little stay of execution because how cheap he is. The bench, Chilwell. What's going on there? Amarty won't be long because of um, Vestergaard. And then Gunn. Well... He played in the cup, so that's something, I guess. But yeah, this game week, uh, I'm just going to tell you about what I'm going to do. So first up, I'm going to tell you to subscribe to the channel. Because why not? It's free. So many of you aren't. And it would make me happy. Even happier than Ronaldo signing for us. That's, that's not true, but yeah. Make me happy, so yeah, do it. Why not? Go on. Go on. Uh, so yeah, anyway. Uh, in goal, it's Sanchez. Uh not going to waste a transfer on a goalkeeper. Why would you? He's consistent. He plays six points last week. No complaints. Defense, we made one transfer. We had two. So we brought in Duffy for Simicas. 4.1 to 4.1. Lost 0 0.1 on it, but Simicas would go down eventually. Trent's going to start because he's expensive. Shaw left back against Wolves. Probably won't keep a clean sheet, but he could get an assist. Similar to Trent. Then in midfield, it's the question about who I'm going to captain. Is it Salah? Fernandez, Gundogan against Arsenal, or is it Ings or Antonio? Many options. Um, just to cut to the chase. Midfield, captain, Bruno, Salah, not vice. Gundogan, not vice. Harrison, playing. Because he can. So yeah, anyway, Bruno looks the best captain for me out of all the players that I have. Sometimes it's just easier. I did a video earlier in the week where I talked to previous winners. They just said, choose the player with the best fixture. And that, to me, is Bruno. In forward position, and also he's premium as well, so he's a big hitter. Uh, he's got such an upside, so yeah. Uh, in the forward positions, it's Ings, Tony, and Antonio. Antonio's the vice-captain. He's looked immense so far. He can probably score a few goals against Crystal Palace. Um, Ings, as well, also looks good. And then Tony could get something. He looks a handful, but stay execution is only going to last so long. He's cheap. Cheerful sometimes, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's the team. Uh, you're probably asking, where's the bench? Well, here it is. Chilwell's on it, cause away to Liverpool. He's if he starts, he's not gonna keep a clean sheet. Well, that being said, it's Chelsea. They could. Uh, Gunn started in the cup midweek, so there is a chance that he'll start playing for Norwich, considering how awful of a run they have. Amarty as well shouldn't be starting because of Estergaard and Brownhill. What more? He starts, he plays. So, yeah, that's the team. Pretty decent, if I do say so myself. Uh, overall, we're just under 600k right now. Some fine margins haven't gone our way. 
Chilwell, Gundogan, Tony, things like that. But overall, it's a decent start. It's, I'm happy enough with it. We'll get there when we get there. Yeah, anyway, that's me. Uh, hopefully you subscribe or you like the video. And if you don't, I don't particularly care because Ronaldo is signed for Man United and I don't particularly care if you do or like it or not. But you should like it. You should subscribe because it's free. And why wouldn't you want to like it and it's free? So yeah, that's been me. I've been Paddy from Odds on FPL. Subscribe. Catch you later.